I was just thinking about how nice it would be to take a real shower with real water pressure. Not like those showers back at the base, you know where the water just drips out. Ah, <sighs> a real shower. You mind if I tape her mouth shut? Ladies, we're a team. We need to work together. Skynet knows we're here now.
we've got wasps above us. We're so screwed. Follow me! David, it's Connor. Just letting you know we're heading underground, so we'll be out of touch for a bit. It's hard to say, David. There's still a ways out. I don't know how much longer we can keep this up. Hurry! This place used to be so beautiful. The Spanish architecture, the marble floors. I'm such a mess. I'm so sorry. We're right here with you, Angie. It's gonna be okay. Wait a second. Look at this. Looks like the entire platform is rigged. This doesn't look like resistance work. Maybe it's just old. Hardly any dust. It's recent. Expertly done, too. Wonder who built it. Better question is why they built it. stories, you know, about people who went crazy after Judgment Day. They're crawling around in places like this, eating each other to stay alive. <laughs> you mean cannibals? And did they hunt with mutant dogs, too? Don't laugh. 
I heard they've taken over Fullerton. Lieutenant Command never sends anyone near there. Those are just stories, Angie. There's no such thing as monsters. John. We've heard rumors of machines with rubber skin, supposed to look like people. Guess you ain't one of them. But that still doesn't explain what you're doing down here. My name is John Connor. This is Blair and Angie. We're on a mission to rescue resistance fighters trapped behind enemy lines at the Eagle Rock Skynet facility. <laughs> the three of you are going to infiltrate Eagle Rock when the whole resistance just got their asses handed to them. <laughs> That's a likely story. Tell me what you're really up to. What I told you is true. Command refused to send help, so we're going it alone. We know the risks. We'll give you food and water, plus whatever other supplies we can muster. But I'm warning you, we lived in these tunnels for years without Skynet bothering us. If you brought them to our doorstep, I'll kill you with my own two hands. Understood. Thank you. Barnes is our quartermaster. He's a big guy, bald with a beard. Sings to himself a lot. Can't miss him. He'll get you what you need. Anyone gives you trouble, just holler. Name's Warren. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Come on, Connor, let's roll. Did you see the way Warren treated them? I was just playing for hop. So? I don't trust them. Look, they could be up to something. Those resistance chicks ain't bad. Ain't bad? You crazy? They're better than anything we got down here. Hey, are you Barnes? The one and only. <laughs> right. Well, I'm John Connor. Warren said you'd help us out. I need rations. Three people for three days. Plus whatever medical supplies you can spare. <laughs> what, y'all planning a camping trip? Something like that. Yeah, well you need to watch your backs. Some mean old beds out there in the woods. If you know what I'm saying. Yeah, we've seen our share of them. Well come this way then. Machines followed you here. You've endangered all of our lives. I gotta kill you, but I'll let Skynet do it for me. Barnes, take this waste of space and make sure our security system is working. Buy us enough time to get everyone out of here. I'm two steps ahead of you, man. I'm coming with you. Come on, follow me. Managed to piss one off. He's right, though. The machines must have followed us here. It's our fault. He said no one's bothered you guys for years. Don't listen to him. Man, it happens every couple of months. Skynet finds us. We pack up and we run. He just likes to have a scapegoat. Okay, here's how we gonna do this. You keep the robots off of me while I set the charges. On my signal, we run like hell. You got it? Did you just call them robots? They're robots, right? What else should I call them? Fine. No problem. Yeah, but they're wired in series. 
not parallel. One goes, they all go down. Can you fix it? Yeah, but it might take a minute. Y'all ain't got nothing to say? Huh? No one's complimenting me on my handiwork? Come on. You designed that trap? One of my specials. Barnes, you did a great job. You'd be an asset to the Resistance. Yeah? But we should talk about that later. Right now, though, we gotta hustle. That's the last of them. We're good to go. You three, ride with me. What are you gonna do now? Get out of Los Angeles. We'll have to find a new place to hide. We're never gonna win this war if we keep running from the enemy. Sorry, sweetheart. But this is a war we're never gonna win. No matter what we do. Ready your weapons, people. Let them pass us! 
We gotta get him on board. No, we'll be killed! Don't listen to him, Barnes. We're getting those people. All right, get him on board! Board. Come on, people! Move! Get on the train! Spiders! Keep them away from the train! Here come our machines! We should just go! We're not gonna make it! Let's go, Angie! Take them down! Endo! Come on, are you kidding? Let's go, people! Move! Come on, move! Take that, robot! Hurry up! Let's clear the place out! Barnes, how many people we still need to get on board? Almost got them all. We're clear! That's everybody right there! Let's go! Everyone okay? Yeah. I'm all right. Grab your stuff and let's go. Where are we going? To the depot where we keep the vehicles. We'll get cars and rendezvous with the others en route. This is John Connor calling David... Ah, oh, man. What was that? <laughs> That's Skynet jamming your signal. It's coming from their surveillance facility. Up in the hills. What is that thing? It's how Skynet keeps watch on the city. They're up there scanning the surface, looking for survivors. It's the reason we have to live underground. Keep close to us and keep the machines busy. There's special short waves in each vehicle. Skynet can't jam them. Or at least they can't jam them very well. Put them on. Let's go. Stay close to the bus. Keep us covered. Lord, just stay back. 
This is where we part ways. We're headed back to Eagle Rock. You brought a lot of trouble to our doorstep. Still, in the end, you came through. If you change your mind, you're welcome to stay with us. Thanks. I appreciate it. But we're going after our guys. Do you even realize where you are? You're right under Skynet's eyes and ears. And <laughs> you want to sit out on foot? Hell, they're even jamming your radios, keeping you from talking to each other. You'll never reach your men. Not as long as that thing's still standing. Then we'll destroy it. <laughs> the two of you? Alone? No, not alone. Thought you were coming with us. I wanted to. I can't live like you do. Suit yourself. I'm going too. I'm tired of spending my life on the run. After all I've done for you, Barnes, you're idiots! All of you! It's suicide! It may be, but I'd rather die for a reason than live without one. <laughs> yeah, nice knowing you. Thanks for coming along. You don't have to do this. I know I don't, but we're here, so what's the next step? If that tower is the source of our problems, it's got to go. Well, well, well. Looks like John Connor's come up with a plan. End of the road. Nah, man, we're just getting started. Looks like it's less than a mile from here. We'll be there in no time. It's been so long since I've been topside. Forgot how beautiful it can be. I miss it. How it used to be. That's all. Just miss it so much. I don't think we're alone. Did you see that? It's just the light playing tricks on you. Robots don't sneak around. If they were here, we'd know it. Skin job! We need to get out of here!
take Gummy Skin's job. Here we go again. You heard him. Damn, almost got me. Lawrence, go around behind them. We gotta flank these things, people. Man, I always hate a spider. Barth, you and me flank this one. Angie, cover me. Arrow stack on me. Help. Skin jump, get to cover. the last of them. All right. Let's move before they come back. Hold up. guards or sentries, but that doesn't mean there aren't any. We stick to cover. Move in groups of two. Inside, we'll cover the doorways while Barnes wires the C4. We good? Yeah, I'm good. Right behind you, Connor. Something ain't right. No robots in here. They don't need guards. We're probably the first humans to ever set foot inside this place. Or it could be a trap. Yeah, I'm voting trap. You ready, Barnes? Born ready. I wish we had a computer. There's all kinds of useful information flowing through this place. The generator should be close. Can't you hear them? I hope so. The further in we go, the longer it's gonna take to get out of here. Follow me. I'm telling you, man, this doesn't feel right. Either we're in the wrong place or... Just stay alert. If they attack... When they attack... We'll be ready for them. You two set up a perimeter. I'm gonna see if I can pull one of these drives. Careful, John. Redundant, so Skynet should know they're missing. What good is that? Depends what kind of information they're storing here. Schematics, access codes, flight plans, who knows? Damn. I don't hear anything. Set up the alarm. They don't need to hear it. They know we're here. They'll come through that door. Guys, buy me some time. Constant fire. Don't let them get Barnes.
get out of here. Took you long enough. Lead the way, John.
controls. Here they come. Take cover. Look for the controls. I'll do it. Angie, go. Honor, I have faith in you. Angie. back there. John, you inspired her. You inspired all of us to join you on this mission. And now she's dead. She was right, you know. When she said it was a suicide mission. Why are you talking like this? You read me, Connor? Okay. John Connor, this is David Weston. Can you read me? Yeah, David. I'm here. Oh, man. I'm trying to race you forever. And almost given up hope. What? Please tell me you're still on the way. Yeah. We're still coming. We're just a few miles out. We'll be there soon. This is John Connor calling Resistance Command Bakersfield. Do you copy? Repeat. This is John Connor calling... John Connor? Thought you went down with Murphy's chopper. Listen, Linda, we're going back into Eagle Rock on a rescue mission. Can you back us up with air power? Buy us enough time to get in and rescue our men? Wish I could. Last time we tried that, their carrot shredded our birds. And then there's that heart. Right. Well, what if I told you that won't be a problem? All right. She's good to go. She'll steer herself straight to Skynet, stopping at all our primary targets. Only problem is, I've still got no way to control her guns remotely. You do now? Look, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not too good with apologies, but uh, we were almost out of the city when we saw your fireworks display. I don't know how you did it, but me and some of the men started talking and we figured, well, you know, if you got this far on your own, imagine what you can do with some help. Skynet's anti-aircraft turrets. How you planning to do that? These plasma cannons will rip through just about anything Skynet can throw at us. There's also the Gatling gun.
Connor, can you hear me? Yeah, you're hearing a bunch of fighting, Connor. Is that you? Sure is. We should be at your coordinates shortly. Sit tight. did some damage. Central Command, take the remaining turrets offline another way. On foot, huh? We don't have a lot of options. Can you get any more of those turrets? Maybe a few, but this thing's falling apart. Destroyed that one. Where's the next one? Three of your best men. We'll go in, get our guys out, and then get those anti-aircraft guns offline. Jones, Washington, Torres, go with Connor. The rest of you, fan out. Take down any remaining machines. We need to ensure Connor and his squad makes it inside. Because if they don't get these turrets down, all of us are in a world of hurt. Hey, Connor. Good luck. Connor. They didn't know what hit them! Well, they know now, and they're none too happy about it. The turrets are down. I'm taking the last of them offline the old fashioned way. Are the planes ready? They're circling. Under orders to maintain minimum safe distance. Follow me! John 
Connor to David Weston. We're approaching your location. Is your emergency beacon working? Oh, that's good to hear, Connor. It should be working. I'll turn it on now. I was afraid to use it in case the machines picked up the signal. Just hurry in case they do. We're on our way. Follow me! Amazing. We don't have a lot of time. Washington, Torres, and Jones will escort you back to our vehicles where you can get medical attention and wait for evac. Hey, you, you're not resistance. Who are you? They can fill you in later. Right now, I need to figure out how to get inside that building. You have any ideas? The service tunnels. They're tight, but they'll take us there. Us? I'm going with you, Connor. At least I can do after everything you've done. I can't ask you to do that. You're not. Let's go. You guys good? Yeah, we're good. Get those guys back to the trucks. And be careful. We'll have to split up. Barnes, you and Weston flank from the right. Me and Blair will come around from the left. Stick to cover and move fast. You ready? Yes, sir! Hell yeah! Let's do it! <laughs> 